I wondered why it took so long for a judge to come with this position that um, High Court Justice Philippa Whipple um, of the British High Court um, in the Middleton case. Now, here are some hackers who hacked into her um, iCloud account and, and, you know, collected or uh, installed around 3,000 uh, pictures of various categories, the, the royal, um, her royal sister and, and um, you know, children and so on. Um, it, 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 even though we have here in America where hackers have hacked into um, the DNC and Hillary's and all that, documents out there and people are just excited to buy it and to carry on i i think that um we're just sort of uh giving legitimacy to to illegal activity um anytime somebody hacks into somebody account whatever they uh retrieved or stole or whatever should be taboo should be um stolen products and anybody who's found with it should be also charged with it in the betting a theft and um this is the way to solve hacking. You know, I just don't understand how people think in these days. People doing dumb stuff and everybody just happy about it. Um, we have uh, WikiLeaks. Anytime people have stolen information, it should just be not uh, popular or accepted and these people should be deemed criminals and be prosecuted. And so again, congratulations to this High Court Justice uh, Philippa Whipple. Uh, for this order um, after, you know, Middleton, sister of the Duchess of Cambridge and her fiance, um, James Matthews, uh, went to court and sought this um, injunction. Um, you have here people writing the internet, infecting your computers with viruses and then coming back and selling you uh, a remedy. Here we have this virus control. I mean... People are say, well, you see, that is the business the guy is making. So it's okay. It's okay if he infect people's computers. I mean, he's selling a product. Hell, you know, I mean, they should put these guys in jail. All right. Uh, another thing they do here is um, they send you harassment about this um, anti-virus you know, anti, um, software. And you have to be dealing with it every time you turn on your computer. If you reject it once, they should just go away. And not have the opportunity to come and infect your computer. So we're living in a time when uh, stupidity is prevailing. You have people coming up with cars that are going to be driving. Vehicles are going to be driving themselves. And it's predicted that millions of driving jobs, especially driving jobs, are going to go. And, um, and nobody's stopping to think that it is so dumb. I mean, people have to wait until it comes online and then see it's a stupidness. They want cars to fly. I mean, what's wrong with this time? And why people are this stupid? Oh, I understand. They were rare to be this dumb. We were all rare. Not we, because I am not a part of that stupidness. Um, Sesame Street, Scooby-Doo, Sky-Fi. A whole bunch of nonsense. That these um, these comedians at night. People just stupid, man. And so anything, anybody come to fit into their stupidity is like, whoa, look at that. You know, you got guys who got no brains, never finished college, making... People writing stupidness and twisting things around and making millions of dollars. When they put some garbage on the internet, it's, it's viral. It's going hundreds of millions in a day and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, you just wonder. So I don't have to wait for these things to come out to know it's dumb. So which are the cars going to be able to fly? Are all cars going to be able to fly? And so where are they going to take off? Where are they going to land? Um, would a guy who has a little gas and just tell himself, I think I can make it down where I'm going with this. And then, you know, I mean, all these cars are going to fly. What happened in the skies? What going to be the rules? Where would the other aviation uh, r uh, fly? Um, what licensing do you have to make your car fly? To fly your car. And um, say, if my car malfunctions because I'm not rich enough to maintain it and so on. So when I take off it crash in somebody's house, all these fires, where would they land? I suppose they run to gas, you land on the highway cause an explosion then you have these uh, vehicles that are going to be working off the satellites and I'm not sure if they don't remember that there are hackers out there that could hack into these satellites and that anytime there's a little war the fellas going to shoot on those satellites and then the whole world and the whole society is in disarray 
because all those vehicles are parked in the street they can't move because the records are working with all the satellite the vehicles are working on the satellites i mean why people are this dumb bro you know and so i say this high court justice has put some smart into this thing and the things what courts ought to do around the world anytime you hack and you get some pictures whether it's decent immoral whatever you should go to jail it's theft theft through electronic theft you know i mean it took so long i had to be a british judge to come to this kind of thing yako was seeking fifty thousand pounds or sixty five thousand us dollars and so i hope that uh you know um you know the the, the laws uh the lawyers and the statute makers and the everybody who come together and, and, and do this because it's becoming beyond the pale now people doing legal stuff and it's like oops this is so legal and it's so good it's so refreshing